What's up guys, Nagel from High Level Performance and I'm back and today I've got another video for you. Um, this time we're going to be working an upper body blitz, okay, so we're going to do four upper body exercises. We're going to go back to back, okay, beginners, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, intermediate, 40 seconds on, 20 off, and advance, uh, either 45 or 50 on, and then 10 seconds off, okay. The first exercise we're going to work on, you've got two options. Okay. Depending on what equipment you have, if you've either got either a towel, which I haven't got with me, either a towel, a resistance band, or you can use kettlebell or dumbbell. First exercise we're going to go on to, imagine if I've got two of these, okay, chest up, shoulders back, and I'm working into single arm, single or double arm rows, depending on what equipment I have. If you haven't got that and you've got band, you're going to do the same, but this time, so both feet in, okay, chest up, shoulders back, set a good body position. Drive up, squeeze, nice control back down. Drive up, little squeeze at the top, and nice and control. Okay, key things there, make sure you've got a nice neutral spine position. Okay, the next one we're going to come on to is push-ups. Okay, 40 seconds is quite a long time, or 45, 50. So what you can try and do, rather than hammering them out, try and go at a nice steady pace throughout, okay? Obviously on these, you can either go on the knees, or a bit more advanced, you can do the normal push-ups, okay? So core tight, chest up, shoulders back. Okay, so I'm going a little bit more down, nice control. Keeping control of the movement the whole time, okay? The next one that I'm going to go into is coming down to the floor. And I want to work on first, I'm going to come here, legs off at the back, so squeeze the glutes, lifting up the shoulders. Then I'm going to come out to the sides, squeeze into the shoulder blades. I'm going to pause for five seconds. And then I'm going to come into a wide position, pause for five seconds. Okay, then I'm going to return back through, pause for five, T position, pause for five, and then wide position. Okay, once we have finished with our IT wide, and the last exercise that we're going to go on to is back to working our upper body pushing strength. Okay, so for this one, uh, again, we've got another push up, but a different variation of a push up. Okay, and I'm going to show you two different levels that you can work on depending on where your app is. Okay, it's quite demanding. So, for this one, we're going to start off in a kind of downward dog style position, okay, on the toes. I want to begin a level, I'm going to control my weight down, let the knees come down, and then I reset back up. Okay, so I'm trying to control it and then use the knees. For those of you who are a bit more advanced, if you, you, you can push it on a bit, then you guys can just try and work all the way down back up again. So, if I'm setting here, okay, I'm going to try and work. Okay, so two options depending on what your level you're at on that one, okay? You can choose what is most suitable for you. All right, remember the structure of the workout and how to stick the way through it. So obviously there's the four exercises there alternating between a pushing and a pulling movement. Okay, um, depending on how hard you want to push it. If you're a beginner, you're going to work 30 seconds on, 30 off. Uh, more intermediate, about 40 on, 20 off. Advanced, you're going to work 45 or 50 on and 10 off. Okay, so choose which level is going to be best and most suitable for you in there. Um, target wise. If you're doing them back to back, I want you to try and work through three to five uh, rounds through, okay? In between each round, you get a longer rest. You get a full minute rest between to let the body recover up, okay? Um, so give that one a go. If you're trying it by, by, uh, just as a one-off thing, so upper body only, then get for it, smash it, and let me know how you get on. Post in the comment section below, and let me know how you found it.